Hello students, welcome to Showed Upsir Classes. In today's video, we will be solving some questions based on the number theory. And these questions are, will be very much helpful for you to prepare for the pre-RMO examination or PRMO examination, which is the pre-regional mathematical Olympiad. And our questions will be based on number theory as I have previously mentioned. So first, we will go to the question number four. Question number four says that find the remainder when 2 to the power 2017 is divided by 31. So 2 to the power 2017 is divided by 31. To solve this question, we have to know a basic theorem. The theorem was given by Fermat. So the theorem is known as Fermat's theorem. So we will use Fermat's theorem while solving this question. So according to the Fermat's theorem, 2 to the power n minus 1 leaves a remainder of 1 when divided by n. So when divided by n. So here 2 to the power 31 minus 1 which is equal to 2 to the power 30 will give a remain remainder of 1 when divided by 31. So 2 to the power 30 gives us a remainder of 1. Similarly, if we do 2 to the power 30 whole to the power 67, we will get a remainder of 1 to the power 67 which is equals to 1. So 2 to the power 30 into 67 is 2 to the power 2010. So 2 to the power 2010 gives us a remainder of 1 when divided by 31. Now, if we move towards 2 to the power 2017 from 2 to the power 2010, we will multiply both sides by 2 to the power 7. So it will be this side will become 2 to the power 2017 and this remainder side will become 2 to the power 7. So when 2 to the power 2007 is divided by 31, we get a remainder of 2 to the power 7 which is equals to 2 to the power 2 to the power 7 is equals to 128 so 128 so when we divide 2 to the power 20, 2027 by 31 we get a remainder of 128 but but dividing by 31 we can't get a remainder of 128 so if we now divide the remainder 128 by 31 we will get a remainder of 4 so dividing 128 dividing 128 gives you a remainder of 4 so 128 gives you a remainder of 4 when divided by 31 so basically 2 to the power 2017 gives you a remainder of 4 this will be equals to this will be 4. Thank you. So this was our problem. We have solved the problem with the, with the help of Fermat's theorem. What was the Fermat's theorem? Fermat's theorem says that 2 to the power n minus 1 gives us a remainder of 1 when the number is divided by n. So, so here we have, we have used the same formula as 2 to the power 31 minus 1 gives us a remainder of 1 when divided by 31. So 2 to the power 30 gives us a remainder of 1 when, when divided by 31. Similarly, 2 to the power 30 to the power 67 will give us a remainder of 1 to the, to the power 67 which is equals to 1. So 2 to the power 2010 is equal to 2 to the power 30 to the power 67. Now when we have moved from 2 to the power 2010 to 2 to the power 2017 we got the remainder as 2 to the power 7 which is greater than the value of 31. So we have divided the remainder 128 again by 31 and we have got a remainder of 4. So this is our final answer that 4 is the remainder when 2 to the power 2017 is divided by 31. Now we will go to the next question, question number 5. Let the first number, let uh, the first number of the series in which 
2013 can be written as a sum of n consecutive numbers b a so small a is the first number in the series of 2013 in the series in which 2013 are is written as a sum of consecutive numbers and the last one will be a plus or the nth one will be a plus n minus 1 so this will be the last one so the if we do the average of these two numbers that is a plus a plus n minus 1 divided by 2 we will get the value 2013 so doing the average of these two numbers so 2a plus n minus 1 will be equals to 2a plus n minus 1 will be equals to 4026 we can express the number 4026 as 2 into 3 into 11 into 61 now as 2a plus n minus 1 is greater than n as 2a plus n minus 1 as is greater than n so 4026 will be greater than n square so therefore the maximum value of n occurs at n equals to 61 so the maximum value of n will occur at n is equals to 61 so if you do the square of 61 you will get 3721 so 61 square is 3721 after that if you do 62 square it will exceed the number 4026 so the highest number or highest value of n can be 61 so what is the maximum possible value of n our answer will be 61 so this was all for today's video if you have any doubt or any queries you can call us in this number 9836793076 or you can send us email at sir classes at the rate gmail.com thank you